today and welcome to today's construction class. We'll be looking into the construction of isometric circle or isometric curve on the theory principal plane. Yeah, on the theory principal plane. Alright, so I'm going to develop this isometric curve or circle on a square box of dimension 40 mm. Yeah, on a square box of dimension 40 mm. So I'm going to do that. The first thing is what produce my horizontal line. After producing my horizontal line, then I'm going to what produce the uh, vertical line. After producing vertical line, I'm going to project my isometric planes. Yeah. After doing that, then I'm going to pick my measurement. All right, a square box of 40 mm. All okay. right. Okay, so after developing the box, so I'm going to develop the isometric curve or circle one. This plane, this plane, and this other plane. We agree with me that those are the three principal planes in technical or engineering drawing. So let me develop on this uh, right hand side first of all. So I told you the first thing is what join the longest was join the longest diagonal. That is the very first principle. So I've joined the longest diagonal. Then the second thing is what I'm going to divide. Uh, each of this area into what into half so in this area into two and this pin also dividing it into two okay so i haven't done that then this first diagonal here from here to the top here and from the same diagonal to uh, the second midpoint here okay so then i'm going to do the same thing likewise here okay the principle is join the longer diagonal then the shorter diagonal, you draw them to uh, their opposite uh, center, their opposite center. Okay, that's all. So the next thing is just draw out my words, my curve. All right. So placing my compass at the point of intersection here, first, first of all. Yeah. With that same dimension, I come to the second intersection here. All right. I draw my curve. Then the next procedure is placing my compass here. Yeah. Extending it down here. Then what? Then drawing the curve. Okay, with the same dimension, I come to its opposite here. Then with that same dimension there, then I would I I join. right you can see so we develop the isometric curve on the first plane here on the first plane there so let's develop the second plane here which is towards what towards the left hand side right so we also get the midpoint here okay so the same procedure still applies here you join the gear you join the longest diagonal all right after joining the longest diagonal so 
the shutter side here to here all right then that points to this point here then from this top here down here all right so from this junction also down here and that this is still the same procedure we applied here that was we are what applying here so the next thing is what to pick my compass and what and draw my axis so the first point of intersection here that way i'm going to place my compass then i'm going to what i'm going to draw okay so then coming to the second point of intersection here all right then i'm going to what i'm going to draw all right then picking the bigger compass coming down here extending it down here and what i'm going to what i'm going to join then on its opposite axis here down here and i'm going to what join all right so let's develop the isometric circle on this plan here we call it the plan or the what or the upper plane all right so my four equal part Then I'm going to what join the longest diagonal. After joining the longest diagonal, so from this shorter diagonal down to this area here, then from this area here to that, then from this other bottom to the area there, then to its opposite corner. All right. So that being said and done, the next procedure is to place it at the point of intersection here and what and draw. Alright. Then at the second point of intersection here and what and draw. Alright. Having done that, then the bigger area first point here and what and draw. Then second point here and what and drop second point here and drop all right so that is uh the production of isometric circle or isometric curve on the theory principal plane so kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and ensure you press the like and uh put uh anywhere we can actually improve ourselves on the comment section thank you